Jeff and Susie, this memorial is for a young man who loved baseball and his two younger sisters. Two motorists found his body on this road, which is marked up right here. And now his mother is searching for answers. Shauna Landon visits this memorial in Palos Verdes once a week. So Dylan was found here. It's where her son, 24-year-old Dylan Lupia, was struck and killed by an MTA bus at about 7.30 in the evening of August 17th. I lost a child, and I don't think it's natural ever to lose a child. You're supposed to go before them. Landon and her attorney have learned through investigators Lupia was walking in this bike lane as the bus came towards him. It just doesn't make sense that a bus driver uh, didn't see a human being walking who's 6'1", 170 pounds, walking towards the bus in complete daylight. Landon, who's a daughter of Hollywood icon Michael Landon, says she and her siblings have driven this stretch of Palos Verdes Boulevard a number of times looking for answers. Here, there's no blind spots. Landon's attorney says he's reached an agreement with MTA to obtain video from the nine cameras on the bus and to download black box data. But Landon says investigators tell her the driver didn't stop immediately after impact and kept going for about a mile and a half to the next bus stop, and she wants to know why. He didn't stop. He didn't call 911. He pulled over and to, and the next bus stop and claimed that uh, he was vandalized. Landon believes one passenger was on the bus at the time of the crash. She's hoping that person can come forward and provide some answers to what happened to her son. I think he just deserves a voice that he no longer has, and as his mom, I want answers. Metro did send us a statement that read in part, we are continuing to work closely with our law enforcement partners and our internal team to investigate this tragic bus accident and determine exactly what happened. We are live in Palos Verdes, Jeff Nguyen, CBS2 News.